Uh, good day, sir. Uh, so for the irrigation and agriculture, farming water from the ground, this is how your setup should look. This is the the strainer. So it's a, it's a net, basically. It will be connected before the filter. So any large racks or anything, it will stay here. It will not pass into the filter. Then you can open this and take everything out. Uh, you will understand when it's filled up with a lot of things because the pressure on the filter will drop down. So you will know something has changed. At this time, you open this, take out any all of the accumulated racks and everything, close the cap back. So now from, from the strainer to the filter, you have this connection. Uh, you connect them like this. You use the, the Teflon tape on all the connections. Also use the Teflon tape on the manometer connection and this connection, drain valve connection, put, use the Teflon tape everywhere. And, and on the exit and the entrance, just use it everywhere. So when you open up the filter, do it very gently. First, unscrew it fully, fully unscrew it and pick it up easily. The thing is you don't want uh, this uh, micro wire to go against the walls of the filter because they're metal and sharp uh, and they can tear this uh, knitting. So just when you're opening, make sure it's very, uh, you open it in a way that you take it out easy here. So now, uh, let's say after some time, because you're gonna have a lot of iron, a lot of heavy metals in your water, uh, you will get a yellowish accumulation here after some months because uh, this uh, microwire knitting is not gonna let uh, the, anything pass except water and everything else less than one micron. So it will accumulate here. Don't forget to uh, drain the drain valve every day maybe two times a day just to make sure uh, there's no accumulation of sediment here. Now, when you take out this cartridge, do it also very gently and use do it only here. Don't touch this. So you oh, take it out like this. Nice and gently. Fully unscrew it first without any pressure not to hit the walls of the filter. Now you take it out easy also, you know, don't touch the walls. So now you have the cartridge. Inside of the cartridge, when water goes through, this is the magnetic uh, uh, structure for, you know, live water, structured water. This will benefit your animals and your crops. All of your irrigation, very good. And you can see that the shell of the filter element, it's covered in the nano silver. This is the, the pure silver. Uh, when you're going to need to clean it, so you take it out like this, use some kind of, uh, <coughs> you can use some kind of uh, dish, dishwashing detergent, something gentle. Uh, use some kind of soft bristle sponge, you know, something like this. Even if, you know, something like a toothbrush, you know, some kind of bristles that are soft, not anything hard because this microwire is thinner than the hair. So then, uh, you, you know, you clean it off. That's it, uh, under some water, and you screw it back in the same way. Be gentle, don't let the filter element hit the filter walls, and we screw it back in. And you do this, you know, maybe once every two months or so, depends on, you know, how what kind of content of, uh, you know, heavy metals, iron is actually in your groundwater. But after, you know, a couple of months, you will understand how frequently you need to do it because in every situation, it, it, it varies. So this is the setup. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be glad to help you. Okay, check.